Now coming up on today's show, boy, if you ever want to see what it looks like in a tornado, we have footage for you. Sean Casey is interviewed by our own Jesse uh, Farrell. Evan Myers is back with me today. We're going to go inside the numbers and discuss the upcoming hurricane season compared to last year. Of course, this is an interactive show, so we're going to be fielding all your questions on Facebook and Twitter. It's been a much different story, though, in the middle of the country where we've been dealing with days of severe weather. Jesse has some incredible video to show us from one of those storms. Thanks, Valerie. I'm here today with Sean Casey, IMAX filmmaker and storm chaser, who got his tornado intercept vehicle into an EF3 tornado on Monday. Sean, when I met you in Pittsburgh in 2011, you said your life's dream was to get IMAX 3D film inside a large, violent tornado. Do you believe that you accomplished that on Monday? Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen the footage that I shot. Uh, Brandon was shooting, of course, out the front windshield um, to the north. I was, I had the similar shot up, but I was higher up in the turret. Um, I actually had abandoned my camera while I was running to seek shelter in the TIV. Um, at one point, the camera actually got blown back um, into the vehicle. Um, but we did shoot about 800 feet of film, so that's about two minutes and 30 seconds. Um, so I have no idea what that film is going to look like because I wasn't looking through the viewfinder when we were in that tornado. So are you retiring now or what adrenaline rush is up next for you? Oh, I don't know about retiring. I mean, you can't just make a film on one shot. You have to film, you have to build the story. Um, and so we're, we're doing an IMAX film um, called Wild Weather. And that'll be about tornadoes, hurricanes, and monsoonal lightning. So I, I hopefully we've got the money shot, if you will, for the tornado sequence of, of that film. Um, but we still have to film the hurricanes um, and, of course, the lightning. Uh, for the hurricanes, we're going to be building a specialized boat um, called the Storm Surge Boat um, to play in those kind of, well, film, not play, I shouldn't say that, but film in, those, in that environment where that water is pushed inland. Well, the video is just incredible, and it's been viewed over a million times on YouTube. How much was the tornado intercept vehicle damaged, and was anyone injured? Uh, no, no one was injured. Uh, uh, as far as damage, not. I mean, there, it looks like, you know, someone took a very large shotgun to the vehicle. It's peppered with dings and hits and scratches all over, but nothing really put a massive, you know, dent into it. We were hit by a hay, uh, one of those big round uh, hay bales, but, you know, that really didn't leave a mark. Um, so... You kind of want to have that 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 scar that 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 you know on the vehicle that kind of uh, you know you know is a, is a memento from that occasion. But uh, in a way, I mean, you don't want that uh, you don't want to experience it in the vehicle, of course. But the vehicle's fine. It it you know we were in those winds and it did not move. It was rock steady. As a matter of fact, one of our Facebook fans has a question. He wants to know. What was the bright orange flash near the end of Brandon's video? Yeah, when we were taking all that debris, I was looking actually um, to the rear of the vehicle. So we were getting the heaviest winds pretty much from the south, southwest. Um, and things were f impacting the TIV, and you'd see these sparks off the vehicle. And I, I thought, and even off our polycarb windows, a type of plastic. And I, I, I thought it was electrical line that was flopping against the TIV. There were so many, but it, they were just... The, the, the sparks were from friction impacts from debris. Um, the video that Brandon shot, you know, it shows one object kind of like going across the um, front windshield. And on the front windshield, there is now this kind of like abrasion across, not really even a scratch. And I think somebody slowed down that video and saw that it was a saw blade that had come in and it went metal object. And actually when it, it hit plastic so fast, it created a spark. And I've never seen, plat, you know, polycarb. There might be metal in polycarb. I don't know, but it was, the vehicle was just sparking, you know, dozens of times just from impacts. Thanks a lot, Sean, for speaking with us today, and best of luck on your future storm chases. Bernie, I believe you have some additional questions from our social media fans. Well, amazing, amazing footage, uh, Jesse. As we've talked about, uh, this is an interactive show, and we do have some questions 